Thank you once again for joining me. As a follow-up to the stepwise regression, this video is about estimating the stepwise regression with the inclusion of dummy variables. As said in the previous video, stepwise regression is used in most models and estimation techniques. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you if the regional dummies will change with different explanatory variables. I will also show you if there are changes in the significance of the dummies as regressors are added. I will also show you if the signs of the dummies change as regressors are added. Stepwise regression averts multicollinearity problem in addition to enriching the study by providing more information on factors influencing the behavior of the outcome variable. So in this tutorial, I'll be using regional dummies. So if you have a panel data, please load it and let's get started. But if you want to use my data and do file, they are available on my website at a cost. Kindly click on the link to the files in the video description and you will be guided accordingly. So here is a preview of the data we'll be using. 54 countries are in this panel. Algeria is country 1 and Zimbabwe is country 54. I also structured my data along subregions. So there are five subregions in this group. And because of that, if you look at this top part of the table, I created five regional domains that I'll be using in this analysis. So now let's get started. Make sure you execute the X to set command whenever you want to run a panel data analysis. So execute that. And this is the output. I have a strongly balanced panel from 2005 to 2015. Because I'm using the log variants of these variables, I have generated their logs. And these are the codes that are used to generate the dummy variables. So the first thing we want to see is if the original dummies will change with different explanatory variables. That is, will the coefficients of these regional dummies change as different explanatory variables are, are put in the model. So let me highlight this and execute. I've executed. The output is exported to a .rtf file located on my desktop. So I'm going to click on this link to retrieve it. So here on the screen we have the results of the stepwise regression with the regional dummy variables. This is East Africa, North Africa, Southern Africa, and West Africa. Central Africa is a base dummy, and the intercept or coefficient of the base dummy is given by the constant here. So across board, across the four different model specifications, the constant here represents that of the base region. So as you can see here, we have all the regions, and they respond in different ways whenever the regressors are included in their respective models. So what you can do is just to simply uh, put them up together. You can see trade is separated here while the rest are here. So let me just put them together. Let me create another row and bring trade. So I'll just copy trade from here. So I've pasted trade there. So let me delete these empty rows. So now you can clearly see the stepwise manner of this analysis. And you can see the dummy variables here responding in different ways. For instance, let's look at North Africa here. We trade, it is significant and positive at 1%. With labor, it is still significant, positive 1%. With mobile phones, it is positive but no longer significant. And with fixed telephone subscription, it is now negative but significant at 5%. So here you can see that the North African coefficient changes as these regressors are included in their respective models. So that's one of the information you can also get from a stepwise analysis. So now let's consider another variant of stepwise analysis. In this case, we want to see whether the dummies will be consistent as variables are added to the model in a stepwise manner. So, I'm going to highlight all the codes written out. You can see it, the way it's even spread out like a step. So, I highlight all this and export the output to a Word document. So, here we can see a build-up of the results. 
trade first, later on labor is added to the model, then mobile phones and fixed telephone subscription. So just like I did before, let me find a slot here for labor just to make the stepwise manner more conspicuous. So now you can see that the step is clearly shown. We want to see whether the dummy variables will be consistent in signs and in statistical significance. So let's take a look at anyone that has changed in some way. Okay, let's look at Southern Africa. We trade alone in the model, the coefficient is positive and not significant. With labor included to the model, it is still positive and still not significant. But with mobile now included, the coefficient is now negative and significant at the 1% level. Same thing, still consistent with the inclusion of fixed telephone subscription in the model. It is still negative and significant. So we can see that as regressors are added to the model, some of these intercepts for the dummies change as given by Southern Africa. So whenever you perform a stepwise analysis, you can get a lot of information on the behavior of the regressors or the behavior of the dummy variables vis-a-vis -vis the regressors in the model. It is always good for you to perform stepwise analysis whenever you can. Also, for adventure mobile phones and fixed telephone wireless are highly collinear. I can address that problem by conducting a stepwise analysis such that I do not include the two of them in the same model. So you can also do that whenever you are having a model that is suffering from multicollinearity. You can just revert to estimating a stepwise analysis. If you are interested in stepwise regression using dummy variables, uh, I will encourage you to check out my papers as shown on the screen. I have them available for free downloads on my website, but you have to cut and check out at zero cost. I have also put the link in the video description. It will guide you on how to get uh, the papers. Thank you once again. So this concludes the video on how to perform stepwise regression with dummy variables. I appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel. I am humbled by your subscription and by your comments. Thank you so much. God bless you. I love you all. Keep coming. Share it with your students. Share it across your universities. Crunch Econometrics teaches with simplicity. Chat me up on Facebook, on Twitter. I run an interactive YouTube platform. Post your questions and I will respond. Thank you. Please don't go away. I'll be right back.